Hey you guys, Jacqueline here. Today I am going to show you the laziest way to make an amazing meal. I am cooking for a two day trip. It starts very early in the morning. We have a 6 a.m. departure time. So I'm not gonna have the energy or the desire to drive myself crazy on the airplane trying to put together a gourmet meal. However, the people on the airplane are going to be expecting one. So today I am going to take you on an adventure and I'll show you how easy it can be to put together a delicious meal. So for breakfast the first day, I am just gonna go to Starbucks and get those sous vide egg white bites because they're insanely fantastic. I'm gonna do um, the vegetable egg white as one option or the bacon and Gruyere cheese as the other option. And then I'm just gonna do breakfast sausage and breakfast breads to go along with that. Super simple. For my meal that day, hold on, let me grab my list because I like planned everything out. Here's my little list. And I lied to you, my second breakfast, op my second breakfast option to go along with the egg white bites, it wasn't gonna be the veggie egg whites or the bacon gruyere cheese as option one and two. Just sous vide eggs is option number one, and then a bagel with lox is op option number two. And then for my meal, because they're long flights, so I'll be serving breakfast and lunch both days. So meal option number one is curried chicken over rice with a garnish. Meal option number two are tuna wraps. So I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's and show you the pre-made food that I'll be using on this trip. It's amazing, super easy. It's a lifesaver. You can also apply this in your everyday life too. It's not just for corporate flight attendants. If you're busy and you wanna give your family a home cooked meal, but don't have time, this is the way to go. Day two, I'll be serving a breakfast casserole for breakfast um, that I'll be making at home. Apparently that's the only option I have on my list for day two. Oh, I know why, because that's a short flight. It's like an hour and a half. We don't really have time to go totally crazy, so a breakfast casserole will serve everyone's needs. It's gonna be vegetarian, and then I'll also have probably breakfast sausage or bacon on the side um, just to make it more hearty. And then my options for lunch number two are ribs, mashed cauliflower, and green beans, or they could have tilapia, rice, and green beans. So on top of relying on Trader Joe's for their pre-made um, curry that I'll be using, which I've had before and I love, I just logged off of Amazon Prime and I ordered all my groceries from Whole Foods. So by the time I get back from Trader Joe's, my groceries should be arriving so I can cook the rest of the stuff at home. Doesn't come any easier than that. And just to drive home my point of how easy this is, I'm at my sister's house. I am watching her kid who is going to be nine months in a couple days. He's so cute. So I'm doing this all with a nine month old baby. Okay, it's easy. So this is the curried chicken I was telling you about. I just pick it up at Trader Joe's. It's fully cooked. Here, let me pop one out. It's like not the most appealing to look at in this state, but it comes in a pouch that you can boil or microwave. So when I get on the plane, um, I'm only gonna bring these pouches with me because this is just unnecessary bulk. So I'll carry eight of these and it will be one of my dinner options with a bag of already made rice. And then I'll plate it and I will just put a fresh garnish. That looks like basil. I don't really know what I'll use, but it will look similar to that once we're on the airplane. And this is just the remainder of stuff I picked up at Trader Joe's. I got five different cheeses. Um, this is all for a charcuterie plate. So we'll mix in pistachios, already marinated olives, which I will um, put on little skewers, and then some pumpkin cranberry crisps because that's just festive, and cheese sticks. These are amazing. If you have not had them, they're probably one of my favorite things from Trader Joe's. So. I just need to get some prosciutto and other meats, and then the cheese tray is done. Okay, there's been a change of plans. So first, you need to ignore how I look, 
And second, you need to know I picked up a quick turn tomorrow, which was the day that I was planning on doing all of my cooking and all of my prep. So I just changed my menu a bit. I was running around. That's why I'm in the same sweater as yesterday and I have no makeup on and I look like this. So I just picked up already made brisket, already made salmon, already made mashed potatoes and broccolis in a steam bag. So I'm just gonna cook that for my other meal option because it's just gonna be easier to do the late lunch slash really early dinner that way. This way tomorrow I can go fly, make a little bit extra money and not have to worry about driving myself crazy tomorrow once I get back from my trip doing additional cooking. So here we go. Hopefully the background noise of the dishwasher isn't too much. Um, but before I started baking the breakfast casserole, I just wanted to show you these little caramel swirl things that I prepared. I'm gonna use them as a garnish for the coffee on day one, flight one in the morning. And I got this idea from a girl on Instagram who I follow, her name is Flight S. I will link her info down below. She is a corporate flight attendant she does incredible work and I'm learning so much from her slash stealing her style because this is just gonna make the coffees look so cute. So yeah, I'll break them in half and then I'll just stick them in the coffee pots. But I just did a couple little swirls. It'll look fancy and hopefully it's enjoyed at that early hour of the day. My packages are here. There's a ton of them, but do you know how nice it is to have your groceries delivered and not have to lug all of this back into your house. Totally worth it. Now it's time to cook. Hey guys, so I'm in San Juan, Puerto Rico and the beach is behind me. It just looks really bright out there, um, but that's a lie. It is pouring rain and it's just such a tease sitting on the balcony knowing that I can't get in the water when I'm right here. Meal, leg one and leg two on day one. Uh, the meals went over perfectly. The casserole was a hit. Not that many people ordered it though. More people went with the salmon and lox than they did with the casserole, which doesn't directly hurt my feelings because I know they didn't choose it because I cooked it there's an airplane and lightning and thunder at the same time. I don't know if you've heard any of that. Um, my feelings, like I said, are not directly hurt because people chose the salmon over the casserole, but I worked so hard on that damn thing. <laughs> Next time I'm just gonna make people eat it. But the people who did eat it really liked it and the salmon was easy to put together, so that was an easy service. And then I just made tilapia uh, from scratch on the plane and I know I said this was like a cheap meal put it together quick and easy um, vlog that meal is quick and easy you just buy tilapia throw a ton of butter on there sprinkle breadcrumbs over the butter and then I bake it with slices of lime on there um, just because it gives it some extra flavor and it's delicious and it takes 20 minutes in the oven it seems very fancy there's not a lot of prep work involved and it was delicious and then I also served the chicken coconut curry from Trader Joe's that I showed you at the beginning of the video and I stuck that in the oven to warm it up and I used ready-made rice already in a bag that stuff is a lifesaver so really it did not take me a long time to cook these two meals and they were both pretty tasty. So hopefully I'll have a chance to explore San Juan. I've never been here before and it looks beautiful even though I saw a cockfighting arena like right down the street. Don't support it. But I'll keep you posted and then I will let you know how the meals tomorrow morning go. Hey guys, uh, I am back home obviously and ignore how messy my office is. I've been gone. I'll clean it tomorrow. I'm back home. My cat Logan is very happy. Normally he doesn't make appearances. Normally that's my other cat Lola, but he wants to say hi today. So everyone say hi to Logan. I'm just here to tell you about my breakfast 
and my lunch, the two remainder cheat meals that I had on this trip. Um, breakfast was incredibly easy. I went to Starbucks and I picked up sous vide egg bites. They had two different options. Actually, I think they have more than two different options. I just went with two different options. I got the bacon and gruyere cheese because I love those and they're my favorite. And then I got an egg white and vegetable option for the vegetarian that I had on board. So I went to the Starbucks. I asked them if I could buy them frozen. They let me know thawing instructions. This way they would be good for me to serve on the plane two days after I bought them. And then I just plated them with fresh parsley and I did like a sriracha I don't even want to call it art design because it was literally three dots on a plate of sriracha he thinks they sound good but it was just three dots um, of sriracha on a plate and they looked super fancy I mean for fast food frozen egg white bites that I heated up on the plane they came out pretty good one of my passengers actually said it looked like a Michelin star plated meal which obviously gave me a huge ego and now I think like oh my god I should do food art all the time um, but that's not the purpose of this blog the purpose is to show you how easy it is to make a fancy meal fast and then for the late lunch early dinner portion of the flight um, I just went to my local supermarket I picked up marinated frozen salmon pre-made mashed potatoes and also a brisket uh, that had already been diced or pulled I guess and smothered in barbecue sauce and then I bought broccoli in microwave bags so I could steam it and that was the meal option however we did go to Jamaica and my passenger let me know jerk chicken and jerk pork would be very desired so I did go to a restaurant in, in Jamaica um, our driver suggested his favorite and there's no way we ever would have found it on our own because the roads in Jamaica are like crazy to find like the very local roads not like the main touristy strips of Jamaica so we picked up local Jamaican jerk chicken and jerk pork and uh, then I got a couple sides of fried plantains and this bread that they called festivals and I don't know what it was but it it was like a like a breadstick almost he's so happy I'm home it was like a breadstick and then um, it tasted like very dense funnel cake they were delicious so I just served up a couple of those on the plane too so yeah, it was a super easy meal service for all the meals that I served on this flight. Well guys, I hope the vlog gave you some ideas of how easy it can be to pick up made meals, plate them, make them look fancy, make them look like your own, and serve them to your guests and have your guests be satisfied. I just wanted to thank all of you for watching my channel. You guys have been so awesome sending me thank you for making this video messages asking me questions you're letting me know that my videos have helped you and that's why i do this because that's a way that i learn too so you guys have just been so awesome truly i'm so grateful that we have this little online community and we're able to chat how we do thank you guys for watching thank you for subscribing to my channel and thank you for leaving me a thumbs up as always, if you guys have questions, comments, thoughts, concerns, you could tell Logan how cute he is. Just leave them down below. I'll make sure Logan gets your messages. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, guys.